Well, hey guys, I wanted to, I don't know, share a story of some really good customer service. Um, just above and beyond what I was expecting. I ordered some uh, Acme, Acme thread lead screw. You know, the precision ground and, you know, they're kind of expensive, I thought, for for what they are, but... You know, just better than any threaded rod you could get at a hardware store, I'm sure. Or at least around here. Um, so, I was real excited. They came in uh, like three days, pretty quick. You know, just, they came up from California. And so I threaded one of the nuts on. They they came in a separate box. I uh, threaded one on, and ooh, it works good. It's going to be really nice. And then I gave it a little spin. And I don't know if you can notice, but yeah, it's bent. So I opened the other package, checked it, and yeah, it's bent just as much. So I thought, you know, shit happens in warehouses and forklift backs into a pile of, of steel rods and bends them and nobody notices, you know, it doesn't surprise me but I started thinking you know that they're, they're not cheap at least relative it's all relative and not cheap to me <laughs> you know I thought they were kind of expensive and and I noticed on the website it says you know contact us you know and I I just wanted to say I just wanted to say that you know, God, they were marketed or advertised as, you know, precision and and everything. And I thought that was maybe false advertising. I mean, they're bent. <laughs> if they're all bent, you know, how can they say that? And that was just what was going through my head. I sat down and said, well, I'll just let, let them know that they arrived, but they were kind of messed up. Anyway, I got the first sentence, you know. I ordered these, well, I put expensive, but because that's relative, it's, you know, for me, they were expensive. And I was thinking, you know, I really should take them out of the package all the way and just inspect the whole thing. Maybe there's something down in the package that it's just making them look bent. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. So I came back out and I noticed that the cardboard tube it was broken and taped back up and I thought, oh well that explains everything they were straight and UPS used it as a pry bar and so I felt like an idiot and uh, went back to finish my letter to them you know and just say hey you know can I send them back and maybe we could try shipping some straight ones you know or See if the guy would knock five bucks off my next order. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting a lot, but just to kind of, I don't know, get it off my mind. Anyway, what happened? I cut my letter short. It wasn't very long. It was like two sentences. It's like, yeah, I just noticed the package was what was busted or what was the problem. And the guy answered back real quick it's really amazing they it was late it was in the evening but they had a guy there um doing their customer service and he says no problem we're sorry it ha sorry it arrived damaged they credited my card back the money for the rods and uh he said well the next day we'll ship two more out so i'm waiting for the other two to arrive and I expect, you know, when I get them, I'll, I'll email and say, you know, they arrived fine and they look good and credit my, my card, you know, bill my card. But I just thought um, that was the best customer service I've, I've noticed anywhere. And uh, yeah, I'd have no problem ordering anything else from McMaster Car. They're just, I mean that. That proved to me that it's just a, a really good company. 
Um, they really did a lot more than I was expecting. So I thought I'd share that. And if anyone um, is kind of on the fence, you know, whether they want to order something from their website and, and uh, I don't know, might make you feel a little more at ease. Just knowing that they'll they'll take care of you. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Uh, have a good one.